Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to see your third essay, The Hour of Truth, written by Percival Wilde. It's a play. Percival Wilde was an American author and playwright who wrote novels and numerous short stories and one act plays. He also authored a textbook on the theater arts. He was born on March 1, 1887, New York City, New York, United States. He died on September 19, 1953, New York City, New York, United States. Theme of the play Study on the corrupting influence of money on people, greed and its effects, the good gets reward and the bad gets punishment, how easily people forget their morals and values before money. Setting of the play The play takes place in a parlour of a little cottage where a family awaits the return of the head, Mr. Balvin. Weather is reported flash of lightning, dark sky, symbols of something not going to be good. Plot of the play Mr. Robert Baldwin works in the bank of Mr. Grissom who is now in the police custody for misappropriation of depositors' money. He offers Mr. Baldwin, a truthful person, $100,000 as bribe to say three words I don't remember at the time of the trial which is going to take place the next day. The reaction to this offer from all other members of his family is the main plot of the play. Action, place and time of the play. As a one-act play, it follows Aristotle poetics respectively, unity of action, unity of place and unity of time. Actual time of the story is the time taken to perform the play and the place is a visiting room of a little cottage and it has a single action. The characters of the play Mr. Robert Baldwin Hero of the play worked with Mr. Grissom, a banker who paid low salary for the last 35 years. A truthful, trustworthy and loyal person. Gets an offer of $100,000 as bribe from his employer, Mr. Grissom, who is now in police custody. Baldwin rejects it. Later, gets a good position from another bank. Never changes mind at the influence of money. Ritchie gets rewarded. Is the represents whole generation of honorable persons. The next character is Martha, Mrs. Robert Baldwin's wife. A great support to her husband, changes her mind at prospect of getting a huge amount. Money makes changes in her character, even persuades her husband to accept the bribe money offered by Mr. Grissom, listing a good number of reasons. The next characters are Mr. Baldwin's children. Mr. John Grissom Baldwin and Ms. Eve. Children of Mrs. and Mr. Baldwin, in the beginning very stubborn against Mr. Grissom, later change mind, money influences them too, compel their father to accept the bribe money, find every possible excuses for it, no shame on being dishonest, money corrupts the youth very easily, represent present day generation. The next character in the play is Mr. John Grissom. Important character of the play but not comes to stage. Everything reported about him, a banker in police custody for misappropriation of depositors money, offers $100,000 to Mr. Baldwin as bribe. Confession of guilt before his trial begins. Recognize the virtue of Mr. Baldwin. Next, we are going to see the significance of the title. Most perfect and suitable title. No special time for truth. The truth wins and 
bad gets punished every r is the r of truth percival wild in his one act play the r of truth shows how easily people forget their moral values and principles being loved by greed robert bolwin was the protagonist of this play he led a simple life with his wife martha and his son john and daughter eve he was working as the secretary of the national bank he is an honest diligent and hard working employee mr grissom was the president of the national bank he was a corrupted person his attitude towards money was really selfish john grissom and bolwin had been thick friends for over 30 years bolwin had even named his son after grissom grissom had been arrested for mis appropriation of money at the bank and bolwin was to testify against him grissom had offered bolwin a 100000 dollars if he would utter the words i don't remember in the court during the trial the family members who were initially against grissom tried to justify grissom's act and enticed bolwin into accepting the money Balvin felt disgusted with himself and the attitude of his family members. Though Balvin was a good friend to Grissom, he had rejected Grissom's offer. He was not ready to make any kind of compromise with his morality. Mr. Marcel, president of the Third National Bank. visited him and informed him that grissom had confessed his crime it made free him from betraying his trusted friend and testifying painfully against him mr marcel also offered him a job in his bank to reward him for his honesty and integrity thus the hour of truth had dawned relieving balwin of the heavy burden and guilt the moral is the honesty get rewarded and dishonesty get punished